Hi guys, uh, welcome to this uh, tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to illustrate to you how you can authorize your Laravel application. And uh, I'll be using the latest uh, Laravel version, that is version 10. Then I'll use the Docker platform for authorizing the app. And also, I'll use MySQL server for providing a um, database uh, service with the application. In the ID export section, you can see I have uh, a Docker app directly. So here I have my existing library application that we're going to dockerize. And then from there, I have uh, two important um, files, Docker Compose and uh, Docker File. Uh, Docker Compose contains all the services that uh, your application will use. And the Docker File, it contains the instructions that will be used by Docker when, when it will be building the Docker image. So we'll come to it later. So let's go to the Docker Compose file. Uh, so here, as you can see, I have defined uh, three services. The first one, the first one is the app server. Uh, the second one is the database server. And the last one is the PHP my admin server. So let's start with the app server. Uh, this is the name of my app. And I have the container name for my application where I have used the same name. And then from there, I want to build this um, application from the root directory. That's why I have defined this one. And then from there, these are volumes. Uh, so here, my application will be saved in this um, directory of these roots. And as you can see here, this name, doc app, is the same as uh, this, uh, this name here for my application. Just make sure the names are matching. Then I have the ports that will be serving my application. That is the uh, port uh, 9009. And then, of course, I'll be using a uh, port 80 for TCP protocol. And then from there, I have a database uh, server. So this is the name of my database uh, username. So here you can give it uh, any other name that you want to use. And then from there, I have an image for this uh, database. Uh, here I've used the latest um, uh, to make sure that uh, I'll, be getting, I'll be getting the latest version of uh, MySQL. Anytime I, I, I build Docker Compose, it will be getting the latest um, MySQL version. Then I have defined the variables, environment variables for this uh, database. One is the root uh, uh, password. And also the other one is the database um, uh, name, which is Ravel uh, DB. So this you can check this one. And then from there, I'll bring the ports. For this, um, uh, serv uh, this uh, service, be served by these uh, ports. The first, the first one is um, uh, the ports for the container, and the other one is the host uh, ports. The last service is the PHP my admin server. Uh, the name you can change this one and use yours. Then the image it will be getting the latest version, just like the MySQL DB, and then to be served by this port 9002 and 4080. And then I have found um, a one environment variable for this uh, service. So this is what um, I have in this file. You can define many services that will be used by your application. Uh, so let's go to Docker file. So here you define the language that you're going to use and also the version. So here I have uh, defined the PHP and then from there the version uh, to be served by Apache. And then uh, define the working directory where your application will be learning, and then the mode light, the lights that help your application to have those uh, permissions. And then uh, you define the libraries for your application. All these are the libraries that will be used by my application. Uh, then I will copy the composer to the right directory. So this is uh, uh, just copying the 
composer to the right um, pad and then from there uh, installing the extension of your language like here i'm installing all the php extension that i need for this application to learn so this is what you need to have in your docker file for your application to learn and also in your docker file from here i have already done some commands and uh, i just want to go at the beginning of this so what i've done here i have uh, a build this um, application so just run this command after that it will build your services as you can see here then after that run this command docker compose app to start your docker images after that you'll be able now to see this kind of our logs learning if i go to docker platform you able now to see uh, the images that we have defined and our containers so this is our container And it is containing these um, uh, images like uh, PHP MyAdmin, uh, MySQL, and we are getting the latest and also the the app itself. So this is the app that have been created, and you can see in their status, all of them they are learning. You can see the ports that we have defined here for the PHP MyAdmin. You see, it is set by 9002 and port 80 for the MySQL learning served by these points uh, 3309 as are the container ports and 3306 as are the host ports and the last one is the application you see it is running uh, under port uh, 9009 and uh, port 80 so let us go and access the with me and uh, admin and also the lab application through uh, a browser so as you can see here using the local ip address and then the port of my uh, php admin is this one uh, 9002 And two, so I want to log in. So here I want to use um, this one. Then root is the uh, password, uh, that is the username is the uh, root, and the uh, password is the uh, root. It will log me to pitch me my admin dashboard. Uh, where we'll be able now to manage our database. So as we to load, as we find, now this is our application that have uh, being executed. Uh, this one. So we able now to learn our application through Docker, and uh, that is only setup that you need to be able now to dockerize uh, your Laravel application. So let's see if it's uh, DB have opened. Let's give it uh, some few seconds. Uh, but uh, this is what you are supposed to set up this name is this one so let me make it uh, very clear so that's so able to connect with us so this one is the name of my username of my uh, database server 
So make sure you use the same name, the same name, and the password. This one, roots, where the username by default will be the roots. Yeah, it's still processing. Uh, finally, it is directing us to the collect uh, dashboard, as you can see here. The matter of uh, I've entered a little bit, they are great. Yeah, you see now we have our um, this is the name of our uh, Laravel RDB. So we defined it here. They have created the um, database uh, name for us. Uh, so guys, that's how you can be able now to localize uh, your uh, Lalavel application. I hope uh, you're able now to understand. Yes, so thank you guys. Uh, can you remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel? And uh, you can share with your friends so that uh, uh, this video can help um, many as sounds um, as much as possible so guys i thank you all and um, enjoy uh, your time watching this video